Hello there, human tippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough, indeed to be doing it too. I'm Bushka, welcome back to the channel, and today I have a question for you. Is this the best tank in tier 10 right now? This is the FV4005, and I think the question has to be rephrased possibly a little bit more subtly to say, is this the best tank with the best consumables in tier 10 right now? Because I have found myself playing this vehicle again and again and again and again, the FV4005. Now, when I first got it, I thought it was all right, and I liked it, and I thought it was unique and a little bit different, and for all those reasons, I really enjoyed it. But have a look at this game. I am out on the medium flank because the consumable for this tank that gives you amazing uh, speed is just brilliant and then you can drop your really fast auto loading adrenaline and rip three shots off quicker than you can say look at his split pull back down the hill and you are at 1400 damage bang that's in fact pretty crazy because i just got three average rolls for 460 alpha to 1380 which is perfect but i did them by getting different numbers wow like uh jinx me now this vehicle is big as a house. It's called the Poop Barn for a reason because the uh, turret on it is wafer thin and it is absolutely nothing like a low profile. It is high profile, high risk, high reward tanking. I love that terminology. Now, if you want to play a tank that's a little bit different, this tank is all about it. And Wargaming is absolutely 100% experimenting with the consumables at the moment. They're looking for ways to make the game more enjoyable and to change dynamics within the game via the consumables rather than just the way the tanks are designed, numbers-wise. Watch me back paddle here. That dodges that 183 shot. Like, the ability for me to hit that that consumable look at me going backwards at 27 kilometers 28 kilometers up a slight incline that is incredibly important for a tank like this that doesn't really have any armor to be able to zip around like that is just wonderful and it's those consumables coupled with the auto loading nature of the tank that make it a real force to be reckoned with now I'm going to show you three games here today, uh, and those games should absolutely go a long way towards convincing you just how lovely this vehicle is. If you are willing to drive it aggressively and willing to use that mobility, coupled with the lovely penetration and the big dose of auto-loading clip-out that you can bring to bear, you can do wonderful things with it. And I really didn't utilize it to its extremes uh, when I first started driving the tank. I was a little bit shy with it. Nowadays, I feel like I'm driving it a little bit like a Leo 1. Of all tanks, it's kind of a crazy tank to use as a, an example because I am daring that poor old FV215B183 to get involved while just dosing him up all the time with the 460 Alpha gun. Now, this is bad play, but I've got hit points to burn and I'm ready to get involved. Put me in, coach. I want to get involved. Um, unfortunately... Yeah, we don't pen. So it's time to pull back down the hill and hope for a better RNG next time around. Now, I've been talking to a lot of the other contributors and Meadsy, Rolling Storm, all the boys and girls, nearly unanimous in feeling the same way as I do about this vehicle. It's got an awful lot going for it. And those consumables are not available to the other tanks. They really do set it apart as a vehicle that needs to be reckoned with. I, I've got to say, these are road tested uh, on super test. Uh, they're road tested before they get in the game. But with changes of this magnitude, it's very, very hard to be precise and to really be sure and certain about how it's going to perform. Number one, it takes a little while regardless because the numbers are going to be skewed when the game starts. People who know what they're doing will generally grind these tanks and then that means that the tank, the numbers look a little bit more impressive. I mean, the FV4202 when it first came out was certainly not the strongest TRX medium, but it had fantastic numbers because the best players got it early. They uh, used their free XP, they paid a little bit of money, whatever the case may be, and they sauntered on up the line. 
The same is going to be true of this tank. This is not a tank that you're going to be able to really be certain of the numbers for some time yet. It's going to take a lot of filtering from the player base to actually get there. But you can see where I'm playing this tank from. I am not really playing this at the back of the map. I'm playing this up close and personal. Uh, I'm very keen to get out there and have a crack at that waffle tractor. Um, I decide I'll have a go. Is there going to be someone there who puts the hurt on me? Does it matter? Is it important? What is life? Let's just go and uh, and hit people with a big stick. Now, our uh, our poor old IS-4 just goes down there. Fair enough. We'll, look what our Jaegeru does here. This is brilliant. Lots of pen. Great. Pull back. Full reload. Now, the Jaeger just pins him. He can't move. I'm like, happy day. So I'm going to go over here, get a full reload in. I don't even have to worry about that IS-7. Thanks very much, Jaeger. I mean, his buttocks do all the bad stuff, but that's not my issue. I'm going to go get stuck into these guys over here. Now, there's the IS-8. We're going to take one. One pussycat through the track. Two pussycat. Three pussycat. It's just spitting out great sweaty handfuls of alpha um and the the ability to use those consumables like if you've got no armor and you are in a tight spot in a lot of tanks that means that you're screwed if you've got no armor you're in a tight spot in this thing you're already a mobile tank you hit that engine boost and you are gone and if you hit the uh, adrenaline to fire the the gun faster you're gonna see that it will uh it will really go from three seconds all the way down to a very very uh friendly i think it's 2.5 that's that's crackers hey absolutely crackers and watch watch uh watch this this is this is lovely um the ability to get up and about this the poor old bat chat i mean hello i'm a td have 530 alpha and then we've got the side of the e100 there's another dose 440 have another 460 <laughs> like the damage output is just scary i'm just gonna go i mean I look at the engine boost bang i'm gone 62a see ya bye i'm out of here you want to catch me follow me around the corner where my reload will be completed and I can engage you in what can best be termed as a very one-sided uh, event. Two on one, but this, this game is all over. There's so much firepower involved with this thing. And as you, as you really, like experienced players know when they want to leave a situation and to have the ability to leave the situation that easily with that much pen. -hoo -hoo -hoo. So there's another uh, 5k game in this thing. You'll, You'll note that that is not the last game. We've got another game again coming up on Naval Frontier. Let's have a look at that. Now, this is a little more classical uh, in terms of TD play. We're going to go to the prime mover on this map, the spot in the middle that has a wonderful overlook of the heavies pushing down towards the ACAP. Uh, it also can peek across towards people in the opposite position overlooking BCAP, and it can give you a, a lot of damage very, very quickly. Uh, in the early part of the game. There's that IS-8. He's been pushed sideways by his compatriot. And we're going to try and sneak one more in. And bang. 30 seconds in and we've got 1,500 damage. <laughs> like, it's got so much pen. It's a TD. Like, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. We used the consumable. That consumable allowed us to get all three shots off before the IS-8 got around the corner. It really is such a wonderful symbiotic relationship between the engine boost, the autoloader adrenaline, and a great deal of pen and accuracy. Now, this is this is not something that I see coming to a lot of tanks. Uh, I think they're running this as a test case for this tank, but experienced players are loving this thing. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, there's the 183. He will get all of my love and attention at all times. Uh, if you haven't watched my video on the 183 with Meiji, you probably should. That's a video that goes a long way towards explaining the player base's feelings about that tank, the Death Star, and the actuality of the tank, the Death Star. There's certainly two very, very different things, I believe. Um, but if I had to take one 
British TD right now. I'm taking the FV4005. It is far and away the uh, the winner as far as I'm concerned. Waiting for it to turn just a little bit so we get an AP pen. And because that tank went behind cover as it turned, I don't get spotted, which means the next two shells are coming hot and heavy right at you. And we clear the Jaeger Roo. We're on to a very lovely damage total. Still plenty of chicken left on the bone as the FV4005 uh, maneuvers around the battlefield. We've not had to move. This is like a rails run for a favorite racehorse. Uh, the bookies already had him as an unbackable odds on and everyone's just driven in front of him and made it a much easier time for getting the win. 5,041 damage, still two tanks to clear. So there is some hope and uh, of getting a little bit more on the top of the ice cream. Plenty of chicken left on the T-57 Heavy there. So we're gonna roll forward and have a look at him. But the beautiful thing about this tank is you've got an opportunity to clear a tank there and then you've still got a thousand alpha to go into this T-57 Heavy. And I'm gonna roll across here. I'm quite happy to take one hit as we go past for a chance at putting a little bit more of the nasty on the big American autoloader there. There's one. Yeah, we'll put, get the second one in. Will we get another one in? Oh, I think we will. He's looking at the E100. There's DOS. And we top out over 6K. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you want to watch the live streams while I'm away, I will be doing a couple of tank live streams. Stick around for that. Subscribe to the channel. Like the videos. Uh, and as always, look after yourselves and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.